Hi, Joe McLean here from CatholicHack.com with another traditional archery tip. The traditional only carbon arrow from Three Rivers Archery. The last couple of years, I've been shooting the Carbon Express Heritage Spined at 250. Great arrow, very rugged, shoots really well. It's 10 grains per inch, but you know what? It's not very pretty. It's just not. You know, that light uh, faux wood finish, it's just not very attractive to me, but it's a very rugged arrow. It's a good arrow. Uh, that uh, neon knock there, you think it'd be easy to see, but it's kind of not. You know, you can lose that very easily. I've lost uh, sight of arrows in, uh, in brush and uh, other things. And even just like shooting beyond 25 yards, it's really kind of hard to see where it's at on my target very accurately. Maybe I'm just blind too. But anyway, uh, so those are some of the downsides there. So, you know, this year I said, I'm going to pick up some new arrows. I need some new arrows. And I'm going to try something I haven't tried before. And it was about that time that uh, I got a call from Three Rivers Archery. And I love Three Rivers Archery, by the way. I've used them many times. And one of the things I like about Three Rivers Archery is their customer service. You can call that 1-800 number right off the website and ask them any question you want. They truly are experts, and that's always been nice. And in fact, when I picked up my 1967 Bear Grizzly right off of eBay, it was uh, a vintage bow, and I wanted to sort of get some feedback from some experts. And so I called that number, and we went over everything. We talked about proper brace height, you know, proper arrow configuration, all that stuff. And they were ready, willing, and able to help me. And I really appreciate that because you know what? I don't want to be an expert. Mm -mm. I don't want to know every little nuanced detail about archery. What I want to do is shoot things. <laughs> That's what I want to do, all right? So I love the fact that I can always call them and they're always going to be there to help out, and they have been. So I was really super surprised this year when they called me and they said, hey, we've seen some of your videos. We like what we see. We want to know if you'd be willing to do a product review. Yeah. I'd love to do a product review. And they sent me a dozen of these traditional only carbon arrows uh, from Easton, but specifically configured for Three Rivers Archery. So they are branded Three Rivers Archery traditional only Easton arrows. Uh, and we're going to be talking about that right now. Great arrow. I mean, really good arrow. I'm going to give you the pros and cons, but my gut, my overall bottom line. Uh, review of these are, is these are a phenomenal arrow and I think you're gonna like them too. But let me tell you what I've got here, okay? So what I've got is uh, 30 inch cut to 30 inches, which is an inch more than my Carbon Express arrows because I'm gonna do something a little different this year for hunting season. And so I wanted a little more length. I'm gonna try some heavier uh, broadheads, some brass rings, etc., etc. So um, so I had them cut to 30 inches. They have that uh, photo fusion wood grain uh, finish. It's a glossy but non-glare finish. Quite nice. Look at that, the printing of the cresting there too. Uh, I just love that look. Very, very nice. Now, you know, on my Carbon Express arrows, that cresting fades fast. I mean, it was gone within a couple of weeks. And you're just left with that light brown wood faux finish. Now, I'm hoping that's not going to be the case on these traditional only arrows from Three Rivers Archery. So far, I've been shooting them the better part of two months, and so far they are bright and vibrant and lovely. Let me just tell you, I quite like that. They have a uh, 14 grain insert, aluminum insert in the tip there with a collar. Very important that you get one with a collar. Because if you're going to go stumping or hunting or something like that, anything other than targets, you're going to want that extra reinforcement in the tip. You know, you can get the Easton Access traditional only with no collar and the tip is totally inserted in the shaft. Some guys are breaking those. You know, when they slam into something hard, you can get cracks and you don't want that. So you want a reinforced collar there. 
They have the white cap on the, uh, on the back end of the arrow there with the Super Knox from Easton. I've got uh, turkey feathers. These are five inch left wing feathers. And uh, the cock feather is a traditional bard. And I've got some lime green feathers there for the hen feathers. Very, very nice. They have a straightness guarantee of three thousandths of an inch and a weight guarantee within two grains. So very good. These are spined at 400. You can get them in 600, 500, 340, or 300. But uh, there's a chart. If you click the link below, you can find a chart and you know what spine you're supposed to get. But again, call Three Rivers. They'll talk you through it over the phone and you'll get to exactly what you need, no problem. So let me talk to you about some of the pros and some of the cons of what I have discovered so far in this arrow. Pros first. I love the look and the feel of this arrow. This is a nice looking arrow, especially compared to my Carbon Express. I mean, it is just a nice looking arrow. I love these, uh, these wraps with these feathers, especially that lime feather. It is super easy for me to see this arrow when I'm shooting, especially over 20 yards, 20, 25 yards, etc. You can see where your arrow is. It is just beautiful, great visual feedback when you're shooting. So I love, love, love that. Um, I love the flight characteristics of these arrows. They shoot really well. I mean, I'm, especially with my brand new bow, now that I've broke my 1967 Bear Grizzly, you can see that video by clicking this link right here. But now I have a red stag from Stamic. It's a 55 pound draw at 28 inches, 60 inches tip to tip. It is a one piece recurve. Now I anchor into my cheekbones, so I'm, I'm, I've got about a 29 inch draw. So I'm seeing about 58 pounds uh, at max draw. And these fly very well off of that bow. Now there is a caveat to that and I'll talk about that in a second too. But, so the look and the feel, I love this beautiful photo fusion wood grain finish. I love the, the white popping off of this cresting here. I'm really hoping this does not fade over time, uh, but it is a very beautiful arrow. Very, very nice. The price is also very good. These are $134.99 for a dozen. You can buy them in a six pack as well. But uh, that's not a bad price. Now you will pay a little more for cutting service and knock inserts, or, or not knocking, they come with knocks. I meant inserts at the tips. So you'll pay a little bit more for that, obviously. But $135 for a dozen. So that's not a bad price for this quality. Uh, they are very rugged. I have uh, been shooting them a lot, and they have been standing up and doing a phenomenal job. So a great arrow in that respect as well. So uh, all of that, the look, the feel, the ruggedness, um, you know, the quality, the flight characteristics, they're shooting very accurately, at least when I, <laughs> at least when I've got my shot cycle and everything, you know, but when I bring my A game, they, uh, they respond in kind and they've done really well for me. But uh, so if you, I mean, even if you're just not gonna shoot well, then they're not gonna help you. But so, you know, if you bring your A game, these arrows are going to prove to you that they are a wonderful complement to your uh, archery capability. Does that make sense? I hope so. So anyway, so those are the pros, you know, the look, the feel, the quality, the flight characteristics, the price. Couple that with Three Rivers Archery's uh, expertise and customer service, and I'm, that's a great deal. Right there, that's a great deal. But let me talk about some of the cons. Okay, so I had to glue these inserts in. They... Uh, they sent them to me separate, and so I just got some two-part epoxy, and I threw them in, and uh, that worked really well. Once I did that, they worked really well. I do not build my own arrows. I know some guys do, but I'm not one of those guys. Again, I like to shoot things. You know, I don't want to spend too much time building them. I like to shoot things with them. So I always prefer that they install the inserts. But so I did that myself. It really was very easy. Again, two part epoxy from any hardware store and five minutes, you're done. It's really super easy. The one thing I will recommend though, is if you want your broadhead blades to be aligned to your fletching, you're going to want to make sure you put your broadhead on and do that before that two part epoxy dries or else you're gonna be in trouble. Got it? Okay. So, um, not a big deal, but you know, I 
kind of wish that those knocks were installed and I'm pretty sure they'll do that for you if you just specify that. I must not have specified that, so no big deal there. On the look and the finish. So, I know I said how much I love the look and the finish of this arrow, but now that I've shot these a ton, what I'm noticing is on this part, the penetration part of my arrow, I'm seeing some fade here. I've shot a lot and I've got a particular target that's going to apply a lot of pressure upon that section when you're pulling them out. So it's just wiping that off, you know. So I have noticed a slight fade in this part of my arrow. And I'm really hoping that it doesn't fade a lot more than that. I'm hoping it kind of stays just like this and no more. So not a big deal. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, again, not a big deal. But I have noticed it. And uh, I do consider that a slight bit downside there. And because I'm getting some decent groups out of this already, even though I'm still getting used to my brand new bow with these arrows in them, uh, I'm getting a lot of arrows knocking together, and so I'm seeing some chipping on the finish there. So not a ton, but I am seeing some chipping there. But very rugged all the same. But you know what? That just means you're getting good, good groups. So maybe that's a, a badge of honor. Who knows? Anyway, so, um, so there's a little chip there, and I've seen that on a couple of my arrows. Um, Here's another thing, too. They did give them to me at 400 spine, and they shoot really well. However, if you look at the chart, for me, I'm seeing about 58 pounds at my draw, 29 inches. And if, I, if you use 125 grain tip, then you should be at 400 spine. But those are charts for suggestions of where to begin. They're not 100% uh, they're foolproof. So you kind of need to look at your setup and adjust where necessary. So I almost wish, because I'm going to be adding a heavier uh, broadhead on this year, using some brass uh, washers to give some extra uh, center forward weight for better penetration in hunting, I almost wish they would have given me six in spined at 340 and six at, at 400. Um, but that's really not their fault. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things where you go, I wish I had thought about that at the time. <laughs> so here's my suggestion. Before you buy, know what kind of you kind of know what you want to do, and maybe consider buying six spined at one and six spined at another. Does that make sense? So avoid the mistake that I made. That's kind of what I'm suggesting. Um, look to see what your options are and uh, set yourself up for success because you never know. Because I wanted to know it, if as I add that weight, would a 340 spine fly better off of the bow? It may. It may not. It would have been worth a try, right? You just, you just never know. So that's kind of it, you know. Uh, no real big downsides. I mean, really, other than the fading here, the, all this other stuff is super minor and um, no big deal. Really, they are holding up very, very well. I, I can't tell you how much I have been impressed with the overall quality, flight characteristics, the look and the feel, all of it. This is a very nice arrow and I have been enjoying shooting it quite a bit. So, that's my review of the Three Rivers Archery, traditional only from Easton, specific to Three Rivers Archery. So you can't get these anywhere else. You gotta get them from Three Rivers. You can go onto the link below and uh, click that and it'll take you right to the product page where you can pick up yours either in a six pack or in a dozen. And you can choose the various colors of fletching and wraps, etc., etc. You can even decide to get them cut, not cut. You can get them uh, with inserts or knots, your choice. Now, here, this is truth in advertising. I don't get a single penny if you buy these arrows from my link. Not a penny. That's between you and Three Rivers. However, I will say this. Here's how I do benefit if you will consider purchasing these arrows from that link. They will track the fact that you came through this video. And if you do that, that means they will send me more product reviews in the future to share with you. So you get the benefit of seeing the product, the pros and the cons ahead of time, and I get the benefit of trying out new products. So to me, that's a win-win for everybody, and I hope you'll consider that. Have you used these Three River uh, traditional only arrows before? Can you comment below? Let me know what you think. What is your review of this product? 
Uh, if you are in the market for arrows and you pick these up, let me know what you think once you get them by commenting below. Do me a favor, like, comment, and share these videos. It's a great way for us to give back to the traditional archery community, to influence other people, to also consider picking up a traditional bow and uh, throwing some arrows downrange if they've never done so before. You can really help them out by commenting on these videos, sharing these videos, and liking these videos. If you haven't done so already, I wanna invite you to, su to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below as well. I pray for you that you shoot straight. I hope you'll pray for me that I shoot straight. God is good, and we'll see you next time. May God richly bless you.